<laughs> Blow people up, you get croissants. Crystal. Alright. Or, you know what I mean. Drive the buggy straight into Costa del Sol. Don't, uh... Don't, like, park and walk out and walk into Costa del Sol. Just drive the buggy straight into it. I know I appear to be on foot now, but when I get off the boat back at Junon, I will actually be in the buggy, which lets you get to some new places over uh. on the previous continent. Uh -huh. I see. Is this like a sequence break or is something that's like a fun to do? It's not a sequence break. It's just uh There's a... some people don't think to do. Yeah, you actually have to do this if you want to get Aerith level four uh, limit break. But like when it's still when you're still able to actually teach it to her. Huh. You know? Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah, you gonna get that? Um I'm not gonna teach it to her, but I'm gonna get the item to show you how to get it. Oh. Are you not going to show us? No, it's too much work. You don't want to see me grinding limit breaks for everybody. I do. Alright. Well. I don't actually. Karen. <laughs> Is that how boats work? Yeah, they just go backwards. Yeah. <laughs> As the water trail is still behind them. <laughs> Back in June on. Maybe we can check some of these shops out now. Yeah. Ooh, I Rena don't see why not. Shop. What's that? Is Reno still going to be there? No. Sadly. We missed Reno in a way. Weapon. Accessory. Cannonball. Alright, no, all of your weapons are worse than the ones I already have. Maybe that wouldn't have been the case if I checked this shop when I first was able to, but <laughs> that was hours ago. <laughs> what did you pick up? Speed something? Speed source. Huh. Oh, right. Speed source. Yeah. Source. Nice. Got another soldier. Yeah, yeah boy. That would definitely become useful. Oh, yeah. Soon you will have your own army. Yes. Miniature 135th scale soldiers, yep. Oh, Did you park that dog? Yes, Did you I try did. to talk to the dog? Oh. I did not talk to the dog. Uh, How dare you? Hey, How dare you? This shop's full of ladies. Oh yeah. yeah. Ladies, you say? Female ladies? That's generally how it goes, yes. <laughs> Not always, but uh, yeah. generally. Generally speaking. Alright, none of these shops have anything good. <laughs> Glad what I a waste! Glad I didn't check them out when I was here earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the dog whimpered. That's what he said. Yes. <laughs> what, what an articulate dog. Here's the bar. Uh, Reno and Elena were in here before, but now they're not. Yeah. Oh well. On your wearing soldier uniform? Yes. Did you ever go to the basement of the other place? I'm going there right now. Alright. Are you talking about this? Am I? I don't know. <laughs> if you set off the alarm, then really strong enemies appear when you run around in this hallway. Um, and a lot of people like to level grind here because you're not supposed to be able to fight these enemies until disc 2. Huh. Well, they could. They might. The idiot yeah. Oh god, it's those horns things yeah. again. Those robots. Those horn things. This big god. Yeah, boy. I was just, uh, I was talking about, um, with the, the tutorial guys. Oh yeah, I went in there already, I got enemy skill. Ah, uh, okay. Is that in, uh, Costa del Sol? Oh, I forget. No, it's here. It's here? It's okay. Alright. Metro magic! Missiles! To the robot faces!
Now die then! Robots! Oof! Look at Cloud! Punch a robot in the face! Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Oh bang! Oh bang! Oh my oh, god! Gosh. I know. You just, you just lost that limit break. That sucks. Yeah, and I lost. He doesn't get big guard either. No. So it's. Uh, sounding the alarm just like a beginner's trap, or? Um, I guess so. I, I feel like they forgot that you had access to the alarm at this point in the game. <laughs> I did wow. 700 damage, damn. That's a lot. At this point in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I always hate misses in RPGs. Yeah. That's an RPG. It is. Yeah. Just gotta roll right. Why is her affecting so negative? I think she's, uh, like, got blindness or something. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Hello, she's dead. Rest in peace. This is how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it happens, yeah. Aw, oh, come on, guy. Not cool. Wanna break? Gotta, gotta fix it. Gotta fix it. Whatever. Fix it, Felix. <laughs> fix Precisely. it, Cloud. Maybe you wanna sit in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, change rows. Yeah. Probably should. Just kill it with magic. Come on, Kate Sith, you can do better. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It can't be true. Like a pro if I wanted to. Like a bird in the sky. Believe back in fly. I'm not supposed to be able to fight these guys yet. <laughs> That's why they're kicking my ass. <laughs> that that would be a reason. Why are you not supposed to be able to fight them yet? Ah. Uh, you can well, sound. Because yeah. they're too powerful, they're kicking your ass. You can sound an alarm in this room, and it makes these tough enemies from disc two appear. Um, Deadly waste. Yeah. And disc 2, they're actually not tough, you know. But at this point in the game, they're tough. Yeah. It's still mind boggling. Mind boggling. Mind boggling yeah. me how you made a game on two discs. Three discs. Yeah, this one has three. Yeah. Well, that just that just blows my mind even more. Final Fantasy VIII and IX have four discs. Yeah. How? And why? <laughs> they couldn't fit it all on one disc. The FMVs yeah. take up too much space. Yeah. FMVs, pre-rendered backgrounds. Yeah. I like. I'm like. How does a save file work after that? It works. Yeah. It does. I don't yeah. know how, but it does. <laughs> It just does. Yeah. It's the same <laughs> game. What? I don't know about Final Fantasy VIII, but nine, the fourth disc is kind of just the end of the game, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII, uh, the third disc is just the last dungeon. <coughs> I mean, you could go everywhere else, but, you know, there's no FMVs and stuff, except for the end. Yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. This is the wrong room. I I never understood like the switch on this thing. 
Yeah, it's like the only thing not pre-rendered on the elevator. And me. Well, yeah, but... You're not part of the elevator. <laughs> this just seems like an arbitrary place to put a switch, and it looks kinda weird. I think maybe it might have been like a last minute thing, because those switches are pre-rendered. <laughs> yeah, look at that switch, man. Look. They were like, oh shit, we made an elevator with no way to press a button. To go down. <laughs> that was probably it, actually. Caution! Whoa! Caution! In lights. Hey, I remember when we were here. Hey. Hey, it's Let's blue guy again. Hey, <laughs> you're everywhere. Yeah. So we're gonna be in the buggy. Buggy time. Hell yeah. Rode that buggy down the elevator. Buggies. Somehow, yes. <laughs> On your feet. <laughs> ah, there you are, buddy. I was looking for you. Remember our old pal Zemzelet? Yeah. <laughs> you can manip him now. Uh, you can. And once you've manipulated him. He's backwards. You, yes, yes. Manipulated enemies face the wrong way. <laughs> you can have him teach you White Wind, which is a sometimes useful healing spell. Uh, the reason it's sometimes useful is because it heals your entire party by the amount of HP that you currently have. He just farted on you guys. <laughs> so like, That's what it looked like. <laughs> if, if your healer is at max HP and everybody else is hurting, it's a great spell. But if... Everybody's almost dead. It's not going to do you much good because you know, <laughs> somebody's got to use it. And the buggy lets us cross this river right here and get into a random battle right here. Yeah. <laughs> which you couldn't do before. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> you are All right. right. Now back on the boat. Battle doesn't sound as random as you say it is. <laughs> That's not what actually the buggy lets you do. <laughs> I just oh, got into a random battle. That never made any sense to me. It's like, you just like, you, you get out to fight things. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it should be like a chocobo, no battles. Or so, do chocobos still run into battles? It lets you access this cave. Mm, secret cave? Secret cave. Secret tunnel. And there's a sleeping dude. Yeah. Yeah. And he says some random shenanigans to you. Something about level materia. Take his gun. <laughs> Disarm him. And then steal from him. I don't know why that's all he's telling me right now. Usually he tells you how many battles you fought. Um, and if you come in here when you have fought a number of battles in which the last two digits are the same, he will give you an item. Yeah. Um, and that item might be <laughs> mithril, and it might not be depending on what that number is. I think it's like one through five. You get something and something. I don't know. But uh, if you get a mithril, you later can exchange that mithril for Aerith's level four limit break. Cool. And if it's not mithril? Then you gotta come back when it is. <laughs> what, what is it if it's not mithril? I think it's like a, an armor or something. Mithra Lama? No. Okay, I fought... Does it count the oh. battles you run away from? No. Uh, well, maybe. I'm not sure. But I just gotta fight two more battles and he'll give me something, so... Nice. And then... Eleven more. Or, no, not eleven. What the hell? <clears throat> it would be eleven more after thirty-three. Alright, well then, I was right the first time and... decided I was wrong. <laughs> Next time, bring out a calculator if you don't trust your own math. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to mention before, uh, this game is like, like the only Final Fantasy that I can think of that has barrier on the like little on the dealie on down the, there. The HUD. Yeah. That's useful, so you know when it's gonna run out. Yeah. As usual. 
they decided it was just like too much information. Like you only need HP, MP, and I guess time. Time, yeah. Living breaks in Final Fantasy VIII uh, were just random, <laughs> and you had like a higher chance if you're like low health. So, that's why you see speedrunners like have low health all the time. Yeah, I didn't like that system because yeah, it's weird. Then you just like wait with low health, you know. Yeah. Here, like you use your limit break, and then you have to wait until you can use it again. Okay, cool. So this guy gave me mithril. Thanks. Nice. They don't have to do it anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you want that sweet, sweet armor. No, I don't even care, dude. Sweet, sweet lemonade. Yeah, sweet lemonade. <laughs> Go to the condo? Nope. Go to the condo? Go on and fight the Midgear Zolom. Give me my nerve over the buggy. <laughs> you can't you can't get the buggy like through that into that part of the map. The cave blocks you. The myth reminds. Mm -hmm. well, you if you can manip them, him, yeah, that would be nice. I don't believe you can. Lame. We'll uh, try it. I will try it. Woods. I think you're bad enough to to survive beta. I know I am because I have a fire ring now. Ah. So there's no way I can lose. Watch, watch and learn as the game proves Ricky wrong. Quite a quite a bit of money. Yeah. Yeah. Building up some cash, Ola. Yeah. Some cash. Some cash Don't you get cash from uh, doing for Condor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What are you trying to get at, Don? <laughs> People want to see it. <laughs> you want to see it. Uh, do you, you don't think of those little dudes walking really slowly? It's cool. <laughs> I like Fur Condor. I just don't want to do it right now. <laughs> I'll do it on my way out. <laughs> if it'll make you happy. It yes. costs money to do Fort Condor. You have to, <laughs> you have to buy the soldiers. Can't you just not and then fight the boss yourself? You can. You buy, you buy the cheapest ones. Because those are enough. You buy the cheapest ones. You, you buy the cheapest ones. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cheap floozy. <laughs> no? Okay. That wasn't as cheap. funny as I thought it would be. <laughs> cheap? Cheap, cheap, cheap's the name of your soul. Yeah, gotta get out of the buggy. Ooh, lame. Goodbye, buggy. See you on the other side. I'll see you again when you're a Shichi Bukai. <laughs> I made it all the way through without a random battle. Nice. And then there's a mountain in my way. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, does someone have to be sad or something? No. Uh, uh, Case has got way more than enough HP. Plus, I have. He has a fire ring, which means he'll absorb fire damage. Oh, nice. Mm. So he literally can't be killed by beta, at least. <laughs> Um, and I have big guard now, so that'll cut the damage. Everybody might even survive it if I play my cards right. <clears throat> nice. Except for the guy who gets thrown out. Yeah, somebody's gotta get thrown out. gonna be the person with the ring. No. Don't <laughs> even say that.
Come on, two ones. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Oh, damn. That did right. a lot of damage. What that damage. did do a lot of damage. Wow. Yeah, that oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Yay! I did it! I learned beta! Yay! Nice. Nice. Took zero damage. Yeah, you had a fire ring. Nice. Way to go, Josh. Yeah, yeah. I'm awesome. Like a bow. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Like a bow. Bow. Hey, you we're still in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah. I thought it takes you back. I guess you beat I guess that's only if you run. Yes. And since I was super smart, and since the, only the person who survives getting hit with that attack learns it, and I put enemy skill on Kate Seth twice. Nice. I, I now have beta uh, on both. Tricky dicky. I have beta on both enemy skills. So that's a good. Things are looking good. Let's use the old noodle. Yeah. <laughs>